Good day learners, it is wonderful to be on this platform again. Today we shall be discussing about agricultural practices. At the end of the lessons, the students should be able to explain the meaning of agricultural practices, list all the categories of agricultural practices, explain pre-planting operations. What are agricultural practices? Before I continue, agricultural practices is also or are also known as cultural practices. Agricultural practices are farm activities or operations that a farmer carries out on the farm to produce and to preserve crops. This can be done from the beginning of the cropping season or farming operations till the end of it. Types of cultural practices. Cultural practices are categorized into the following. We have the pre-planting operations, planting operations, post-planting operations, harvesting operations, and post-harvest operations okay I start with pre-planting operations what are pre-planting operations pre-planting operations are the operations or activities carried out on the farm before planting is done and pre-planting operation include site selection land or bush clearing Pumping, farm layout or plotting, tillage operations, and manuring, seed selections. What is site selection? Site selection is a choice of a good site for agricultural operations. The soil should be tested to determine the best crop it is suited for. Now, site selection. In site selection, there are factors to be considered. And the factors are climate, soil type, topography or the shape of the land. Topography is talking about the flatness or the slopeness of the land. When we are talking of climate, every crop that is cultivated is cultivated because somehow it's adapted to the climatic environment. And not all soils are good for cultivation of crops. Accessibility to area. The area is it accessible? Can workers access it easily? Can the farmer himself access the area easily? Water supply. Apart from rainfall, there's a need for water supply because workers and other farm animals may need to use water. Now let's start under this uh, pre-planting operation let's start with land clearing we have seen site selection and let's go to land clearing land clearing involves cutting down the vegetation growing on the soil and removing the dead trees and shrubs on the land before a land is suitable or is useful for agricultural activities or operations the land need to be cleared Methods of land clearing We have basically two methods of land clearing We have the traditional method which involves the use of cutlass and axes Then we have the modern method which involves the use of bulldozers and other kinds of heavy machineries for land 
Whichever method, care must be taken that there is minimum disturbance to the topsoil since the topsoil contains most of the nutrients needed for plant growth and development. Stomping Stomping is a process of removing tree stumps or roots right from the base from a cleared piece of land. But what is a stump? A stump is the part of a tree left protruding from the ground after the tree has fallen or has been felled. What are the effects of storms on the farmland? Why must we remove storms? Number one. If storms are left, they can cause damage and breakage of farm implements. Storm can hinder the deep penetration of tuber crops. Storm can hinder good tuber formation. Tools used for stomping. When removing storm manually, cutlass can be used. Digging matter can also be used. Axe can be used and many more. And when operating mechanically, stomper can be used, root cutter or bulldozers can be used. Farm plotting or layout. Farm planting or layout is a measuring and mapping out of the position, size and boundaries of an area of farmland. From this picture we can see it. The proposed farmland can be of various shapes. This will determine how the area of such land is calculated. For a farm to be organized, just like if you look at this picture here, the diagram, this farm is well organized. Farm plotting and layout must be carried out. Tillage. What is tillage? Tillage is the manipulation of the soil, either manually, by using hoes, or mechanically, by using plow, harrow, and region. There is need for the soil to be prepared before seeds or seedlings are planted on it. One of the major reasons for tillage is to prepare the soil so that it will be suitable for crop cultivation. Tillage operations include plowing, harrowing, and region. Plowing. Plowing is a turning of soil by using hoe or tractor mounted plow. In this case, large humps or cloths of soil are formed. Plowing is regarded as primary tillage operations. Harrowing. After plowing, harrowing is carried out. Remember, we said in plowing, lumps or cloth of soils are formed. Now for this soil to be broken down, into a finer soil, harrowing is carried out. 
In this case, the large lumps or clots of soil formed during plowing are broken down to obtain fine tilt. It is carried out by using Dick's harrow. Harrowing is regarded as secondary tillage of the region. After harrowing, region is the next operation. It is a garden of harrowed soil together to form seed beds. Holes can be used as well as digs ridges or mold board ridges. Region is regarded as secondary tillage operation. Seed beds. What are seed beds? Seed beds are where seeds are sown or seedlings are planted. There are five types of seed beds, which are number one, ridges, number two, heaps or mounds, number three, vegetable birds, number four, nursery birds, number five, flat soils. Next one, seed selection. Seed selection is a choice of suitable seeds for planting. A farmer is not expected to plant any kind of seed. The seed to be planted must be suitable one, a healthy seed, free from disease. Let's see, let's see the factors to be considered when selecting seeds. Number one, large seeds should be selected. Number two, seed selected should not be wrinkled. Number three, seeds should not be light, they should be heavy. Seeds should be free from holes. Seeds stored for a very long time should be avoided. Because there's possibility of it losing its viability. Assessment. Thank you for being part of this class today. I want you to do the following assessment. What are agricultural practices? List all the categories of agricultural practices, you know. What is a tillage? If you have problem with answering this, go over the video again. And I believe by doing so, you will answer these questions with ease. Thank you for being part of this class. Have a wonderful day.